Hello, hello, and welcome to day four of our 12 days with Christmas here with me, Christine of Christine Rose Photography. Okay, today is actually kind of a little mini series. So we've got today and then the next two days are part of this little mini series that is about composition and creating images that are impactful. So when I am talking about composition, especially with new photographers I'm working with, there's a lot of compositional rules and things that we talk about. People want to know like, okay, well, what do I do? Like, you know, I've heard of the rule of thirds and I've heard you shouldn't use the rule of thirds. And there's all kinds of stuff that we can talk about in terms of rules, but none of it matters if you don't have three key things figured out. And so today is the first of those three. And the very first thing that you need to know before you take any photo, what is your subject? Do you just look at me and be like, yeah, duh. Maybe, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. We need to dig into this a little bit because if you're there taking a picture of me recording my 12 days of Christmas, sitting in front of my cool Christmas tree, which gets redecorated like three times a day because I have two small kids. It's, uh, uh, I love them. It's wonderful, so wonderful. That, yeah, I'm the subject, right? Easy, easy peasy. Okay, uh, going for a hike, really beautiful vista. Take a picture of it, that's the subject. Yeah, yeah, that's the subject. Let's say we're traveling. I always think that this is the future and travel is, is a thing again. Uh, this is 2020 Christmas when I'm recording this. We're out traveling and maybe we're walking down like a market square and there's a lot going on. So we're uh, walking down the square and you hear noises and you smell, maybe there's all kinds of spices lined up and you smell the spices and there's kids running around because there's always kids. Kids just love to freaking run around wherever they are because they're kids and they love life. What's the subject? You want to take a picture of that scene. What's the subject of the scene? Well, that's for you to decide. And when you decide, that informs the way that you create the image. And if you don't make a decision on what the subject is, your viewer is not going to look at your image. Now this can be applied to night photography too. We can go out and take a beautiful picture of the stars, but what's the subject? Is it just the stars? All right. Well then why is there a foreground in your image? Because most images that we go out and take at night have a foreground in them. So what's the deal? Why is it there? What is it meant to say to your viewer? What do you actually want the viewer to look at? That's deciding what your subject is. So for me, I'm actually in the process of planning a shoot right now. I want to go out and photograph Orion and I want to photograph Orion with a reflection of Orion before everything freezes, which by the next new moon cycle, everything's going to be frozen here. So that's my subject that informs the whole image. How am I going to create that image? I'm going to create it in a way that accentuates that subject that when the viewer looks at the image, they see Orion and they see the reflection. They're like, that's it. That's what I'm looking at. That's amazing. And when people comment on the image they'll be like, Oh, look at that reflection. It's amazing. You know why? Because that's what I want them to look at. That's what my subject is. That might not always be, what my subject is. I might take a photograph of the same thing, maybe even in the same general place with the same sky and the same constellations and stars visible, but it might not be my subject. The reflection might not be my subject. So I may completely change the way that I'm shooting it. Defining what your subject is defines everything else about what your image is going to look like. Saying I'm taking a picture of the landscape, is not enough. You need to dig down farther. So if that's what you said, if you are looking, you're like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this shoot. And my subject is the landscape. I'm going to push you on that. Dig down more. What is it about the landscape? So maybe you live somewhere where you have mountains. So maybe the thing to you that is really the subject is this grandiose scale of the landscape. Maybe that's the subject. Well, then what are the decisions that you have to make with your viewpoint, 
with what you include in your foreground with the gear that you use. So what focal length are you shooting at? Um, what decisions do you have to make to make that subject come alive for the viewer? Okay, that's it. This is our first one. What is your subject? I want you to really dig into that. And this is every single photograph that you take. I want you to know what your subject is because if you don't know, I promise you, the viewer does not care to look at your image. Okay, everyone, thank you. Part one of our three-part mini-series, Underneath the 12 Days of Christmas. Yes, I went there. I want to be a little bit crazy and give us something, uh, a mini-series within a mini-series that's made up. Tell me what you think of today. Is this something that you are actively doing when you're shooting? And hold on for tomorrow because we're gonna dive into the second most important thing that you need to think about every single image that you shoot.